Well, here we are starting our newest assignment in computer animation. And for this assignment, we're going to be using a new technique called creating a layer mask. Um, so what you can see right here is the layer mask is this little rectangle shape. And basically what it's going to be doing is we've created a shape tween to attach it to. Um, and the way it looks when we draw it here is that it actually masks over but what happens with a mask is that what's shown in the animation is actually what area you, you've covered in your mask. Um, so it's actually working a little bit backwards from what we would uh, normally assume to, to see created as a mask. So when we play this animation, here's what happens. So it looks like the brush is almost brushing my name across, and then it comes across the streak at the bottom. Um, so for your animation, you could actually do any kind of object kind of sweeping across looking like it's drawing your name um, and then uh, doing any other animation around your name that you would like to. So um, to start this animation I'll go over to a new document. Um, on the first layer we should call this um, your signature or your name and here on this first keyframe we'll use the type tool to create a rectangle for your name. Um, so now we'll just use your name um, I would choose any kind of font really that you want. Um, I think a script font uh, has a nice feel to it because it looks like it's being written. Um, but you could really use any font that you'd like. I like these kind of brush scripts. Um, there was another one that I was going to look for. Extra curls. But as you can see, you have a preview going on down below of what your fonts look like. So uh, that's pretty handy that you can scroll right through. I think what I'm going to go back for is the brush script that I had used originally. So brush script will work. Um, your name here. Um, what I would like you to do is to go ahead and rotate that. So we're going to take the, uh, the transform tool, the tool with the boxes around the square. And we'll turn this at a slight angle so that it looks like it's kind of rotating across and it's pretty centered. All right, so like we were saying, we're going to create a new layer. And uh, in this layer, we'll right click on it and then go down to mask. And that will create this into um, this layer is a layer mask. You'll notice that it automatically locks it. In order to view a mask, you have to have it locked. Um, but we'll unlock it for now so we can draw on that layer. And I'll explain that a little bit more later. Um, we're going to choose a color that's really different from the color of your font. So this green is the color of my font. So I'll take something like maybe orange, something that's really different from that color so that I can really see um, the difference in these two. Um, and you want to draw a small rectangle on this uh, piece. We want to actually use no stroke on the outer edge of this rectangle. So I'm going to go ahead and click around the edges of it and delete them. Um, and then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, rectangle and tilt it to be at the same angle as my script that I'm adding in. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take this layer with this rectangle, I'm going to go to about the 20th frame, I'm going to press F6 and create a new keyframe. Um, for my name, actually, I'm going to go out to maybe like 40, and I'm going to press F5. And F5 is going to create a blank frame back there, and that's just about how long I want the name to stay on there. But um, back to our mask. So right here on this 20th keyframe that we just added in, I'm going to take this rectangle and I'm going to stretch it. Um, actually, maybe what I'll do here, I'm going to take this edge. So maybe I have to pull from the corners. Anyway, what I need to do here, I think it's because I tilted it first. So what I'm going to do is actually untilt. I'm going to click off of that. Um, so on this frame, I'm going to take it. There we go. That makes it much easier. So I'm going to pull this that way. And then I'm going to also rotate it so that it covers this my name area, where my name is written. So um, ideally, your mask covers that name, right? So anywhere that's covered by this orange square, so this is my mask layer, anything that's covered by this 
orange piece is going to be masked or actually appearing, not covered. Okay, so um, what I want to do is have this grow into that shape. So I'm going to right click or add a, um, in your instance on your computers, you'll add a shape tween. All right, and so that shape tween will have that rectangle grow from the small one to the large one. And so if I was to preview this, it should look like your name slowly unveiling itself across the stage. So as you can see, the mask is starting over here and then it's growing to here so that you're revealing that. So anywhere where you draw on a mask layer is going to be revealed in the end. Um, so once you have that point um, done in your, uh, in your project, I want you to add something else to this to make it about you. So what I'm going to add in is like from my first file, I'm going to go to my signature file in my library and I'm going to pull in this um, paintbrush graphic that I made on my original. Um, and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo that. I'm going to create a new layer for it and I'm going to call this brush. Um, and like I said, you can choose anything for this layer. Um, you could have any kind of object kind of sweeping in, sweeping across, um, being a part of your animation. Okay, so it does not have to be a paintbrush. Um, it could be anything from, you know, a camera to a baseball to a basketball to, um, you know, a skateboard or a bike, uh, a horse, you know, anything. It could really be anything that sweeps across the stage, kind of that represents you or says something about you. Um, and so what I want this brush to do is to start on the same frame, same angle there, and then I'll go to the 20th frame and press F6, and uh, I'll move this brush all the way to the end up here. And I'll actually, maybe I'll tilt it a little bit so it kind of fits in this corner a little bit better. Um, okay, so I'll have to actually lock I believe I'll have to lock this in order to see it revealed right. So remember, you got to lock these layers um, in order to actually see what is underneath your mask. Um, on this 20th frame, I want to take this brush, just make sure it's all the way kind of lined up with the end of name there. So that works. It actually stays in the frame nicely. Um, so now if I go back here and I add a motion tween in between, it should sort of create the illusion that this brush is kind of sweeping across and writing my name or your name, actually. So when I preview this, it should look like the brush is moving across and sort of uh, writing my name all uh, in one piece. Now, of course, I could you know, animate this a little more. I could move it around, have different motion tweens go in and really you know, jazz this up. Um, if that's something you'd like to do, uh, please go ahead and take the time. It could really look look very nice uh, to add all those different motion tweens in for all those little motions. Um, and then what I did have at the end of mine uh, was also a, um, a sweep kind of coming across. So what I'll do is add another layer. Um, I'll pull it underneath here, and I'm going to call this uh, Paint. And what I'm going to do on this layer is I'm actually going to uh, draw in this paint sweep that kind of comes across the bottom. So I'll create a new keyframe on this frame. Um, actually, where I want this to be is on the next frame, or maybe two later. Uh, here, I'm going to also create a new keyframe right above it. And what I want this brush to do now is to rotate. And I'd like it to maybe come to right about this point here. And then it's going to streak across and create a, uh, a streak behind it. So essentially what I'm going to do is, um, is I'm going to move this brush along. We'll say at maybe keyframe 35 here. We'll go F6. We'll bring this brush down here and kind of have it stop there. I'll go back to the beginning. I'll do a new uh, motion tween. So now we'll see the brush comes across and then goes back underneath. 
And underneath there, like I said, on these keyframes, I'm going to start drawing um, the line underlining your name or my name or whoever's name happens to be in this. Uh, so let's see, what color do I want to take for this underline? Maybe like a light blue, seems like a good choice. Um, I'm going to take my paintbrush and right on this keyframe, I'm going to add one dot. All right, I'm going to F6, add a new keyframe and I'm going to make that dot grow a little bit further. F6, a new keyframe, have that dot grow a little further and further and further. F6, F6, and I am going to follow that paintbrush all the way off to the end of where I finished moving it. Um, and so now when played out all the way back from the start, I'm going to save. Um, always a good idea to save. I'm going to call this, uh, I don't know, I'll call this my name. Um, animation and we'll say okay um, and if I preview this so I have a brush coming across and underlining my name and again you could do this um, with any range of things as your subject um, again choose something that reflects you and um, you know use any other kind of animations it doesn't even have to be a brush coming across it could be anything um, you could use a shape tween, you could make this blue splot turn into something else. Um, have some fun with it, be creative, and, uh, and take some risks, and hopefully uh, your results are great. All right.